Welcome to CATV News with me, Roxy Ray. I am here at the Iron Natura Temple live. Stay tuned because during this news report, I will actually be edging deeper into the inner sanctuary of Iron Natura to unearth the latest news. Here we have for you dramatic breaking news. Queen Phydra has died in a sordid, drug-induced sex scandal. The Queen is rumoured to have killed herself when the pressures of royal life just became too much to handle. But we understand through reliable sources that the Iron Natura Temple, led of course by the Guru Artemis, lured her into a sordid pagan-like ritual in order to drug and manipulate the young queen. She was later seen to flee the temple in order to seek refuge at the notorious Club Afro. Here, witnesses watched her spiral out of control as she publicly declared her passionate love for her very own stepson, Prince Hippolytus. Outrageous. We go now to witness accounts from Skunk and Lou who was at the club when the Queen started to unravel. Phydra was completely out of it. <laughs> who knows how many drugs she'd taken? And everybody knows that Iron Atura Temple is home to hundreds of illegal drugs, which they all say are herbal <laughs> remedies. It was crazy. I can't believe it. I've never seen anything so scandalous. Oh. Queen Phydra was stumbling all over <laughs> about the place and she was mumbling incoherently and the, all that anyone could hear was that she was sick <gasps> for the love for Hippolytus. <laughs> Whoever knew that the royals were such fans of incest? Can you imagine the scene at the club watching the Queen making such declarations of love? But it didn't stop there. Our eyewitness accounts of the scene can testify to the fact that Hippolytus himself then appeared in the club and Phydra confirmed her lustful passion for him in public. We go now live to the club where Millie was also an eyewitness. When Hippolytus entered the club it was unbelievable. Everyone was silent as Phydra publicly declared her love for him and then he just flipped. He charged like a bull seeing red until one brave Aphrodite stepped in to rescue her. I honestly believe that had no one intervened, he would have killed her right there and then. The prince's attack of Phydra was described by eyewitnesses as a wild fit of rage, the consequences of which could have been catastrophic if someone hadn't have stepped in. Police authorities are now conducting a thorough investigation into her death. This scene can only be likened to something out of a horror film. Poor King Theseus returning home from his international duties to discover that his wife had hung herself. <gasps> Breaking news just in! Queen Phydra left a suicide note confirming that Hippolytus had violated and abused her. Well, never have we known such scandal and outrage amongst our beloved royals. We are the first to bring you this sensational news. Stay tuned for more details. I can confirm that we will be screening live and exclusive broadcasts as and when they come in. The state funeral and memorial services will be broadcast fully and we promise to have reporters on the scene to get the reactions as they come in. Stay tuned and remember you can always trust CATV to be first on the scene and first to bring you the breaking news. <laughs> 